What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1 Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. And also, do not forget to stop by CMPKits.com. We have some amazing new drops that have come out recently. Six Pack Volume 2 is six premium compositions uh, created 100% on the profit x it was a really exciting project to um to work on um also arrangement arsenal 5 is now out it is a super powerful product it is 10 premium arrangements for the modern 2020 vibe and beyond really helpful workflow it's compatible with studio 14 and studio 15 these are dot song files uh, not template files and all you got to do is open them up click save as template and then boom they're saved as templates for your workflow also do not forget to stop by your spotify page follow the spicy sundays podcast follow me on ig at craftmaster3 if you guys have any questions uh concerns um you know customer support stuff that is the fastest way to get in contact with me now today i want to go over um the mixer and the mixer options inside of studio one um there is a lot of powerful tools inside of the mixer but they can be they can be hidden right and what you want to do is when you're in when you're in like studio one the studio one universe you want to pay attention to this wrench right the wrench is the icon for um their options and you can see that by hovering over it so you have you have options that are in the arranger and you have options that are inside the mixer right so there's some things that have that have changed inside the mixer like for example you have access to your mix scenes here um you know in the different recall that you could do you have you have access to your groups right here um you know you could see you could see your external instruments um you could you know you can uh see your inputs um from you know from your interface these are you, this way i could see the levels of what's uh, you know what's coming in um and what's going out right um but i like to i like to clean this up a little bit more um also you can right here you can show and hide tracks so this little these little four lines this will allow you to if you click on this you see how you see how you can hide hide these things to kind of to kind of clean stuff up like say you were at the end of the mix and you just wanted to see your buses right and maybe and maybe your effects ends okay and then you could bring these back in so that's kind of like the standard um you know whenever you whenever you see this again you can see it in the inspector too you can um hide and show stuff but what i want to show you all really is what's right here right so a lot of the times um i used to get like a lot of questions when i had studio on three um you know like people be like oh how do we uh you know your your you know your mixer's colored how do you do the colors so you have you have four different um you have four different uh menus inside inside of the settings right so you have grouping you have visibility you have channel components and this new one is the listen bus right so if you're having problems with your soloing and stuff like that if you want to go back to the old way that you used to solo inside of studio one just uh if you if, if you get rid of the listen bus and you get rid of and, and you get rid of that this will this will uh a studio one will behave the way that it used to in uh previous um the versions and then if you you know if you want to um enable the listen bus and uh and solo through it you know once you you know once you get more comfortable with it you can or if you never want to use it you don't have to that's the uh that's the great thing about that right uh the next thing i want to show you guys is the is the grouping so inside it, the way that the way this studio one works is um it'll automatically by default any effects channels um bus channels and uh, uh vca channels it'll automatically make it so that you cannot drag those into you know into this section into where 
into where your audio and media MIDI channels are. And sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. So if you if if you want to be able to move your buses, for example, wherever you uh, this is, I think this is the most useful uh, version of this. When you click this off, because I still have VCA and and effects to the right you know, that's going to automatically shift them to the right. But say now I wanted to put my mix bus all the way at the end. Um, it's not going to let me because I still have this uh, clicked on to automatically be sent to the right. So if you want to, if you want to have full customization, what you want to do is click both of them off. Okay. And now you can, you can say, all right, I want to, I, I want to do, I want to have my mix bus over there. I don't want to think about it. I want it all the way on the right side. My drum bus, I want this, you know, on the left-hand side of everything. I kind of want that at the top of the folder. And then, you know, if I wanted, you know, if I had a whole bunch of other tracks that were going to be a part of the band bus, I could then, you know, have, have this as the top of the folder and then have those channels, um, you know, in a cascading fashion, and that will allow you to have that freedom to move your buses wherever you want. Um, not every doll will allow you to do that. And then you can, you could simply click those back in and go back to the legacy mode. No problem. Uh, preserve order of channels with the folder track. This is, you know, this, this basically matches up. If, you know, if you have a folder track, it'll match up what you have, um, what you have in the arrange window with what you have on the screen here, which I, I personally like that. Right. Um, the next, the next size is, is the visibility. Um, you can, this, this was the big one. This is what everybody wanted to know, right? Colorized channel strips. So if you, if, you know, if you make a track, a certain color inside the arrange window and you want it to be the same, this is what you're going to pick. Boom. And now, and now you have a more, uh, you know, a more color coded workflow. You know, it's it, it's a lot more dramatic. You can see it. Um, you know, you can colorize the plugin header um, also. So that's so that's a personal thing, whatever you like, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Um, you can link the expansion of the visibility of folder tracks and what that and what that'll allow you to do. I don't know why this is doing it, but it'll 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 actually collapse the fault, the um, the the tracks inside of the uh inside of the mixer view so you could so you could the same way that you clean up this um the same way that you clean up the um the arrange window is going to is going to be the same way that you can clean up the mixer which that is awesome um what else do we got uh, and then, and then this is, and then this is just the, these are just other things that you can see that are a part of the track, right? So for example, channel notes, um, that's, that's how you get to see these, right? So you got those, you got that guy right there. Um, the VCA connections that'll show, you know, that'll give you the status of your VCA connections right here. This will, you know, this will give you access to your groups. Okay. You see, you can you could show or hide, you know, your your I.O. settings. Um, you could show or hide your sends and your cues, right? Channel notes and then input controls. This was my favorite. This was added. This was added later in Studio One Four. I used to I used to have a mix tool on top of every channel to uh, control uh, control the input of the gain. And you could also swap phases and stuff like that. Uh, if you, uh, the DAW will come without those being shown. And now all you gotta do is click that. And now you can have those in there, which is like really cool for gain staging and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it guys. There's, you know, th there's a lot of stuff under this little wrench, uh, do some exploring and you can customize your mixer layout to whatever suits your personal needs. It's one of the awesome things about studio one. Um, this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, studio12tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple, but don't be basic. And we will see you on the next one.